If you're looking for a succulent that propagates easily, Sedum Morganianum Burrito is going to be a great option for you. Let's talk a little bit about how to care for this plant and then how to propagate it as well. So this is a full sun loving succulent. So you'll want to put it in full sun for most of the day, maybe a little bit of shade in the afternoon when it gets hot. It's not one that I would necessarily suggest for growing indoors, but if you don't mind it looking a little bit stretched out, like this one that you can see here where the leaves are spaced out, it can be grown indoors with a grow light next to a really bright window. It's rated for a zone 10, meaning it can tolerate temperatures down to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. It is not going to survive long periods of frost, so make sure that you bring it inside or cover it up during weeks where you know you'll have temperatures below freezing. And it's not one that's going to tolerate a true four season climate, so you may need to bring it in if you get snow during the winter. Now, I mentioned it was really easy to propagate, and there's a few ways that you can do that. One of those ways is actually just to remove a leaf from the plant, let it dry out, set it on top of some dry soil, and then water it every few days. It'll start to put off a new little baby, which will be so cute and little and chubby. They are quite adorable. It also propagates well from cutting. So you can simply cut off a stem, let it dry out, and then plant it in some dry soil. Again, watering every couple days until it grows roots. It does put off new offshoots all on its own and can get really form really nice clumps. Now, the leaves themselves and the rosettes stay fairly small. However, they grow extremely long. These have been known to grow several feet long and trail over the sides of pots. I've seen them even up to four or five feet long. They are so impressive when they get to be that length, but they will definitely need full sun in order to form that really nice trailing look. So these are great to put in arrangements with other succulents as they'll kind of spill over the edge and add some variety and interest. You do need to make sure they're getting enough light, otherwise they'll kind of grow upwards in order to reach for more light. I've paired them here with a Ripple Jade, with Echeveria Lola, Crassula Ovata Gollum, but it can pair well with almost any succulent. And the nice blue-green leaves provide a nice color change from your more traditional green succulents or can complement more colorful succulents like Echeveria pearl von Nuremberg really nicely. As you can see here, the leaves on this plant are rounded and really chubby and cute. But if you look at the traditional Sedum morganianum, also known as burrow's tail or donkey tail, they actually have longer and more pointed leaves. Thankfully, the care for both of these plants is essentially the same. You wanna give them full sun, use the soak and dry method for watering, and they both propagate really easily from cuttings and from leaves. So if you see the rounded ones, you'll know that it's burrito, kind of rounded, rolled up like a burrito. And if you see the more pointed ends, that one is burrow's tail, which is a little bit pointier. I love using this succulent in arrangements. Keep in mind that when you're moving it around, these leaves will probably fall off really easily. Just throw them on top of some soil and let them propagate and suddenly you'll have more plants. But do know that you do need to be careful with handling them, but leaves falling off is completely normal. I would love to know what you think about this succulent. Leave a comment below and tell me your experience with seed and burrito. And if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and share it with all of your succulent loving friends. And I'll see you in the next video.